Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, this morning or this afternoon when I woke up, there was a lot of things on my mind about abuse. I don't know what's going on, but let me share this with you. The Lord brought me back to a memory of something where I dated a guy who I was on vacation with and he threatened to slap me if I didn't shut up about wanting to go home. He was holding the ticket, the money bags, everything. And I had no way to get home other than calling the police outright. Now, when I look back, thinking about myself the way I do now, I would have called the police in an instant. I would have said, oh, let me check out what's in the lobby, played it off, gone downstairs, had the desk clerk call the police, let them know I want to go home and I want this man to give me back my stuff so I can go home. And I want you officers to drive me to the airport, the train station, the bus, whatever. Now, at that time, I was intimidated and he never laid a hand on me because I was not going to allow that. But I wasn't going to tempt fate. So I chose to cooperate until I got my happy hips home. Then I broke up with him. Now, let me share this with you. That, just that one moment this afternoon, helped me understand a little more why women and some men even are so intimidated by their abusive spouse when they blackmail them, co coerce them, threaten them, scare them, intimidate. And they are trying to find the path of least resistance and the path that will grant them the most safety. Well, but what I want to say to you is, for those of you who are either insecure, easily intimidated, uh, those of you who feel threatened or hopeless or helpless, you do have the law on your side. Now, it may be a position where you may have to lose out on some funds. You may have to lose out on some stuff. But it is worth it to gain your freedom back. God did not ordain anybody to lord over anybody else, be it husband, wife, children, friend, boyfriend, lover, whatever, or girlfriend. Nobody has the right to lord over God's heritage in any way, shape, or form, not even your pastor. Hmm. Okay. So understand that when you know you're being abused, when you know that things are not happening according to the word of God, according to basic human decency, human consideration, it's time to reconsider your choice. So all I want to say is this. The door swings both ways. You determine which way you go through that door. Coming in to stay or getting your happy hips to safety. And I admonish you to consider the latter. Because if you're not safe, there's a whole lot of other things going on and other people involved that may not be safe either. God bless you, and God lead you and guide you and protect you.